Okay, let's learn a little bit of something about a concrete mixer. This is an older Mack truck. It has a uh, capacity of a mixer of about five meters. And as you can see, the barrel's uh, turning around here because I have to deliver right there for that pump truck. So while I'm waiting, I figure I'll give you a, a, few, uh, a few pointers on how to operate a concrete mixer. Now, probably seeing concrete mixers going down the road and the barrel turning at various speeds. The faster it turns, the quicker the mix cures, it heats up. So if you have it going slow like this, then it, it lasts longer. The other thing is, you see how the barrel is turning up right now? If you're following a concrete mixer, the barrel will always be turning clockwise. That way, the mixture stays in the barrel. When you turn it counterclockwise, that's how you get it to come out of the barrel. Now let's go outside. Here we have our water tank. And uh, the water tank, of course, is used to adjust slump and to clean out when you're done. And here's the ladder we go up to check the slump. There's your garden hose for cleaning things up when you're done. And you use a lot of water for the cleanup. We'll go up the ladder. And we'll look in the barrel, see what kind of a slump we've got. Okay. Now that's about a uh, four slump. Can you see how those chines are turning around? That's how it extricates the uh, mixture to come out on the chute over here. As you can see how that works. Right now it's spiraling inwards to hold it in. When you counter rotate the barrel, it will come out. That's about all there is. Different rotation speeds, different direction of rotation. Your water tank. You clean up hose, and the water tank is operated by the same pressure system as your brakes. Right now it's charging up. So turn it off. There's the water line going to the back for the barrel and the cleanup. This is off. This is on. And this is to blow off the pressure if you need to uh, refill the tank right here. Cancel it. 